POV. Both of Wen and Taehyung started attending their respective classes. At the same time, Taehyung was taking care of Wen's condition. Though she was trying her best, but somehow her improvement was not that much impressive. Both Taehyung and Wen could see that, but none of them had discussed about that. Though Taehyung didn't intend to force her, but Wen was getting desperate. She had already started her researches to find the best cosmetic gynecology center in the cell. Taehyung could sense there was something going on in her mind but didn't know what she was actually thinking. It was a normal busy weekday. What are you thinking, Wen? Taehyung's voice dragged her into the reality again. There. She blankly stared at him. He was all dressed up. Oh, here's your coffee. Wen handed him the coffee she had prepared. Where is your cup? Taehyung asked while sipping his coffee. I'm getting late. Let me get ready first. Wen sensed she was almost caught by Taehyung but managed to escape from there. She just avoided me? Taehyung raised his eyebrows and smirked as his mind planned something devilish. After a few minutes, Wen also got ready for the university. Taehyung was still waiting for her. Yes, they were still on time. Both of them secured themselves in their respective seats and Taehyung ignited the engine. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I will not be in town for a week. Do you want to go Yoongi Hyung's place? I mean, you haven't spent time with Junior and it will be hell for both of them. But I'm not forcing you at all. Taehyung's eyes were fixed on the doors. Out of soul? When asked and they nodded, when silently sighed in relief. I will go and meet Junior, but as I have to submit some projects and I am now more used to with the books you have, I don't think I will be able to shift there. When immediately managed to say something as she had something else in her mind. Yes, she was thinking of getting Botox for her condition. In the parking area of the university, I will leave after lunch with my fellows so I don't think I will get the chance to meet you before leaving. They was about to hold her hand but she had already stepped out of the car. When obviously wanted to hide the Botox plan from Taehyung and it was probably the best opportunity but deep down she was feeling sad. When didn't want to be caught by him so she hurried. Without wasting a single second, they stepped out of the car and pressed her back on the car. He literally trapped her thin body between his arms. They don't create a scene here. She even hesitated to speak in an audible tone and the next moment she felt the warmth of these soft lips on her. Instinctively, her eyes were being closed. She was drawn into the warm for a moment, but soon she shrugged her shoulders. Then we are in the university. Though the parking area was less crowded than usual, yet the area was under CCTV surveillance. Romance was not something that was banned, but as Wen had already faced too many hits, they didn't want to create more trouble for her. Sorry, but... I would miss you. They broke the embrace and they both went to their respective ways. It was almost evening when I was on her way to home from the university. She already received Taehyung's message that he had already left the city with his fellows. When hesitated a little to call the cosmetic gynecology center. She gasped, gathering all her courage, dialed the helpline number of the center. Dear Busero, can I get an appointment with Dr. Kim? When asked the receptionist, the receptionist, may I know what's your name? Van. Kim Van? Van replied, the receptionist.
ma'am dr kim is not in the town but if it's emergency i would like to request you to book an appointment as soon as possible go for the diagnosis your reports will be sent to dr kim when may know who will be monitoring the whole process as dr kim is out of the town the receptionist depends on your booking slot miss kim when when is the earliest appointment i can get the receptionist around 8 pm tonight when okay can you please tell me the name of the doctor the receptionist dr kang would be your consulting doctor miss kim i am booking in this slot please don't forget to make the payment at the reception when you arrive thank you have a good day and the call was disconnected when could do nothing but sigh in relief she crossed her fingers she might get the chance to be treated by dr kim before tae hyung could return from his tour without wasting time she went to the bank call center she was nervous and did what she shouldn't she swiped the black card that she was given by tae hyung and when she realized that it was already too late to step back before she could even curse herself silently she was taken to the consulting room she was waiting for dr kang lowering her head she was fidgeting her finger obviously she was nervous for the appointment for the payment she had made and of course for the decision she was about to make she tried to think that it was all about her own body but she knew that was the least thing she could say to console herself after waiting for long two hours finally she was informed that the doctor was right when entered into the cabin and she flushed cause the doctor was none other than tae hyung but tae hyung was not bothered by her appearance at all tae hyung wearing a fake smile to suppress his anger please be seated miss kang at this point when wanted to clarify everything but the only thing she didn't know was that tae hyung was the one of the best cosmetic gynecologist of the center miss kang are you sure you want to go for the treatment look Botox is still a medicine that is used for a lot of different things. It's been popularized because the way it works aesthetically. Basically, Botox is a neurotoxin that stops the muscles from contracting. So in a way, you would have to accept the fact that you would experience less satisfying or you might find it harder to achieve and so this is one of the facts that you would be going to face but as a doctor the another goal with you would be to do after the injections is you really have to rehabilitate your pelvic floor this botulinum toxin treatment will definitely help you to jump start but you would really need to continue physical therapy to see the best results like I have to rehabilitate my pelvic floor muscles and train them not to go back into its previous state. When finally dared to open her mouth, but whatever she said was just on point. So they didn't show any signs of anger. Though he was angry at first, but after he tried to see his own self from her position, he just realized it takes too much courage. one needs to be desperate enough he just wanted to be understanding as the botox could hardly cover her situation like 80% and the rest of the 20% would going to be the difficult as a doctor as a husband from the point of view of a partner he just started wanting to support her and he was doing his best so are you ready they looked at her and when nodded with her determined eyes they called the nursing assistant and told her to prepare the ot yet his eyes were fixed on when he could see her struggling when was about to go with the nursing assistant when they stopped her when 
he called her name politely with love and affection one was trying to act like she was made of stone but as she heard tez voice the warmth in his voice was enough to melt her down she was about to break down in tears but managed to gulp down her emotions yes doctor you still need to sign the noc stay here until the paperwork is done then you would have to go and prepare for the ot so listen they stood and started taking tiny steps towards her i'm sorry i didn't know that the famous cosmetic gynecologist dr king is none other than you when tried to clarify herself and the credit card it was a mistake i listen carefully until the papers are sent to this cabin you are my wife and i'm your husband and yes i am the dr king and i wished to fall in love with you i have seen you since your childhood i have observed you you might not have noticed me but i did since you are also a human your empathy is very high towards others but you are very very aggressive and unforgiving to yourself in terms of your personal life and emotional attachments with other people you need to be kinder towards yourself and the woman you are you need to give space you need to give time you need to learn that you can't beat yourself all the time you still need to understand that the woman inside you still needs more appreciation because the woman is very emotional and empathetic they was trying his best to console her why do you still want to live with me with my flaws when asked him with tear eyes i would never marry you if i won't want a daughter like you and I would love to raise children with you. You have always been a giver from protecting yourself to validating your own self. You are one of the toughest and strongest person I have ever seen. You have always put your needs behind and become a shield even to me. You feel lost in your personality. You are expected to be good in career yet marry at right time and that has never let you explode yourself so do a favor just be the girl for once in a life just the curious girl you were once in a while you are magnetic your magnetic aura attracts everyone around you you make it possible to fall in love with you they answered her you are not angry when asked him directly i was but when i tried to put myself in your place i felt insecure what if i was inefficient to satisfy you i tried to think the way you were thinking and i realized i would not be able to console you the whole life my words will never be enough a few needles some laughing gas and after doing a procedure your burdens will reduce around 80% and rest of the 20% i would help you as your doctor as your partner and the papers probably related to the treatment was finally signed wifey please sign all the papers they politely requested one took the pen and signed all the papers and left the cabin as she needed to be get ready for the ot in the ot tae young stepped inside the room and checked when she was already given the local anesthesia and it was time for the injections after applying the numbing cream they quickly took the syringe and injected botulinum into the three key muscles that can obstruct penetration into into the bulbar cavernous some pubococcygeus and puborectalis muscles along the lateral side walls left and right as a one time injection under anesthesia after some time when opened her eyes as she felt this warm touch he was gently caressing her hair did you feel when i was doing it definitely 
I felt it but it was like it felt far away almost out of body experience she smiled wanna stay here they asked but she shook her head in no rest for some time and you will be informed about your discharge he gently patted on her shoulder before leaving the cabin and soon they were on their way to home they was in charge of driving well his eyes were fixed on the roads but he could sense once eyes were fixed on him wanna say something he finally broke the silence i still angry when asked with doubts and they chuckled if i was angry would i have done the procedure but you may feel dryness over there due to a parasympathetic portion of block and don't forget botulinum only last 12 weeks but now i'm feeling sore and it hurts when's i trembled as she reminded that she really need to rehabilitate her pelvic floor will you help me with the dilator and this side i'm both your husband and your doctor one part of me wants to help you while the other part wants to stay away this time you should do it all by yourself the car was stopped in front of their apartment they took her into his arms and carried her in bridal style towards their bedroom he gently laid her down on the bed rest well kitten he kept caressing her hairs love you he pecked on her forehead and hold her hands he was playing with her fingers for no reason aren't you tired when slowly asked though it was just a 30 second procedure but the anesthesia and all made her exhausted when did you read all the documents carefully before signing they asked her why when asked in a curious tone and that made him curve his lip lines he took a paper and show her he started reciting i kim wan wife of kim tae young will get married to my lawful husband kim tae young within 20 days and i will wear the gown jeon jungkook have chosen for me kim wan you pranked me when gave him a i'm so done with your look they raised his eyebrows playfully you signed the papers without reading you were responsible for that i kind of admire jungkook's cool style his cool yet classic i will feel fortunate if he takes that responsibility when smiled but don't tell them that i have spoiled your tour and opted for the ot we don't need to share every secret with them and they will be uncomfortable if i do so they just want to be there for us when we would need them they don't want to invite our previous van and i chose to run to the clinic as i received the message because you used my credit card and at the same time i was contacted by the clinic i was worried for you but i will be joining my team soon the only thing you have to take care is yourself they cursed her hairs you don't have to feel guilty for my tour just take care of yourself when is your flight when side 6 o'clock in the morning i still have some time they actually felt guilty as he would have to leave her when she was weak they both were adults to understand each other's situation and the few hours they had before his flight he wanted to kiss his very own kitten wife they went on his tour when was very strict with her dilation schedules too she was advised to sleep with the medium sized dilator every second night as her am dilation schedule she used to remove the dilator and again used the advanced size dilator and she followed her pm dilation schedules the same way a 
strict yoga and exercise schedules actually helped her a lot and soon she was able to tolerate the medium sized dilator for longer time and the advanced size dilator for little shorter time as her muscles stretched she even became more comfortable with the advanced size dilator coincidentally the day they was supposed to return was a holiday after walking for good 5 week days one could finally enjoy the morning in a little lazy way though these days she had followed a strict schedule she was feeling quite fresh she was awake yet her eyes were still closed when she sensed someone had unlocked the door successfully by pressing the correct password and soon her phone started vibrating incoming call from habibier flashed on her screen yo bose o his husky voice came from the other side of the phone i was still sleeping no i just don't want to wake up why she answered in sleepy voice but why are we talking in phone when we are under one roof under one roof wow you must be the dreaming wife but i like it she chuckled stop scaring me i just heard someone unlocking the door when took her dilator out and almost jumped out of the bed let me see no 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 stop when at least don't you open the door of the bedroom they warned her what do you mean by that it's our home and i thought you have come back fixing her eyes at the door she stepped towards that and the only thing she heard says whisper please don't open the door it's our home they i need to check and she opened the door surprise jankuk awkwardly spoke as he was organizing a mannequin what's this when found are you going to surprise your girlfriend oh i'm so sorry oppa she was about to close the door as she felt too unprepared for being presented in that room but somehow jankuk managed to stop her this is for you and i chose this veil and this pair of shoes for your wedding okay when nodded in disbelief with whom i mean where is the young what about his attire when can you be less annoying and can't you act like you were really surprised jankuk fran don't be so boring especially after the wedding with young jankuk playfully winked but i'm still surprised How did you know my shoe size or my dress size? Wow, I mean, I just woke up and you have made my dream come true, which I have not yet had the right to dream. Thank you, Oppa. To hug him when threw her arms in the air. Wow, just because Jungkook chose your wedding dress and arranged it so beautifully that definitely doesn't mean that you won't hug me. After all I have raised you the way Jin Hyung raised this not so stupid bunny. Yoongi stepped out of the kitchen and handed her a glass of wine. Take it. You didn't even get a bachelorette. Just enjoy this drink before saying I do. When did you come here? When mouth remained open saying Yoongi. Okay. you all are setting up a prank on me right tell me where is the rest of the bulletproof boys they are in charge of the wedding venue janko casually scratched his head before replying when now stop asking us questions and get ready and oh i just remember young had told me to tell you that he had prepared something special for you you will find that in your wardrobe and i don't have any idea about that i'm just the messenger oh okay she actually nodded in disbelief and went to their bedroom she opened the closet and 
noticed a cute pair of packed in a transparent gift wrap. There was a handwritten note on that. The powder pink color looks awesome on your skin. I just wanted you to wear something my favorite. Did you like it? When could feel she was blushing. She went to the washroom for taking a quick shower and after that she put on the fancy soft dreaming. She just had stepped into the bedroom when she heard a soft knock on the door. May I come in, ma'am? A female voice was heard. Mr. Jun appointed me to make you ready. When I was wearing a bathrobe on the yet she didn't want to be seen by her opals. So hiding behind the door, she managed to open that, and soon the gown, veil, shoes and all the accessories were transferred into her room. The woman did her makeup and helped her to be fitted in her wedding dress. The amount of time when consumed to get ready for her wedding, Cook and Yungi had utilized that time to decorate their small nest. How am I looking? When opened the door and asked to surprise Yungi and Cook but she was surprised as the apartment was decorated beautifully. This is insane. Wow, so beautiful. When exclaimed, Your handsome husband is getting impulsive there. Can we leave for the venue? Yungi asked in a monotone. Still, his eyes couldn't believe that the girl who was standing in a bridal attire was none other than the girl he had seen growing up. The most beautiful bride I have ever seen. Cook handed her the flower bouquet. We must go now. The wedding venue was decorated beautifully. Wow, when? Jin was standing in front of the main gate to welcome the bride. Cook and Yungi really prepared the most beautiful bride for Taehyung. Oppa, where is Taehyung? When blushed as she asked Jin about her room. Come with me. He is waiting for you. Jin led her. The stage was set up in the garden area where Taehyung was waiting for his bride. The moment when saw Taehyung, her jaw dropped. She had dreamed many times about her wedding. Those were beautiful, but when she was actually getting married, the whole setup was dreamy. It was more beautiful than her dreams. Van, though you guys are already married, but we wanted to thank you for coming into his life. Taehyung is all yours. Go. Hobi tapped on Van's shoulder and she finally started walking down the aisle. Her steps were tiny, her legs were trembling. She could feel the tide of emotions and surprisingly, those were not choking her at all. She could see a proud smile on Taehyung's face, though her vision was a bit blurry. Of course, she was teary-eyed. Wan stood in front of Taehyung and Namjoon also stepped on the stage. Namjoon, Kim Taehyung, do you take Kang Wan for your lawful wife to have and to hold from this day forward for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health until death, do you part? Taehyung proudly said, I do. Namjoon, Kang Wan, do you take Kim Taehyung for your lawful husband to have and to hold from this day forward for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death, do you part? When Shali smiled, I do. Namju nodded happily and gestured Jimin to bring the rings. Jimin gently handed Wan the ring, but when it was Taehyung's turn, the mochi managed to whisper in the groom's ear. How are you feeling? She looks so fine. You are just made for each other. You are the most handsome man and she's the queen. Taehyung curved his fine lips. I have fallen in love with her countless times and I know I will be, but 
This time it's really special. She had pushed her boundaries and chose me. I can see the efforts in her eyes. Nanjin cleared his throat to stop the 95 liners and they stopped. They took a step forward, maintaining a solid yet romantic eye contact with Van. He raised his left hand to hold her left hand and gently put the ring on her ring finger. Of course, the rest of the six men cheered in joy for next few moments and it was Van's turn. She raised her left hand to hold Tae's left hand and gently put the ring on his ring finger. This time, Namjin whispered in Tae's ear. Rings are exchanged. What are you waiting for? You make us the bride. With a small jerk, they grabbed her thin waist and embraced her. You may kiss me as long as you want. They smirked, though he had planned to give her one or two pecks, but as the lips were touched, he could feel soft nibbling. It was soft and it felt too romantic to him. The way she was kissing his lips almost forced him to close his eyes in satisfaction. After a long kiss, they detached, finally happily ever after.